Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing August favorites and I have to give myself a little pat on the back this month because it is the second month in a row that I've actually uploaded my favorites before the month was actually over so that's kind of a big deal for me so I'm going to try to keep this uh, trend going for next month as well. So I'm going to get started with lip color. Usually I save that for the end so I'm going to switch it up today and start off with some lipsticks. So throughout the month of August I was really into inexpensive lip products so I've still been wearing my NYX butter glosses like crazy and mixing and matching those colors. I love them and I mentioned them in a bunch of favorites and a bunch of tutorials. But this month it was all about the Wet n Wild lipsticks. And I believe these are the Mega Last lipsticks, even though if it does say what they're really called on the bottom, I wouldn't be able to read it because I need to put on my glasses. Um, but the colors that I have, and I actually have a bunch of colors, but the ones that I gravitated to first were the more everyday, more natural colors. So I still have yet to try the brighter shades, but I love, love, love these. So this one is Think Pink, which is kind of just a neutral pink. It's just a perfect color. And again, it looks great with the NYX Butter Glosses that are like similar shades. And this one is just peachy. And the names describe them pretty well. This one's just a pretty basic peach color. So again, pink and peach, really great everyday colors. And I think that's why I've been wearing them so much this month. So there is a swatch of Think Pink. And that is just peachy. So you can see they're really pigmented. I mean, I just kind of swiped it once to get that color payoff. So they're really great for the price. Great quality. I think they're $1.99 or something like that. Loving these Wet n Wild lipsticks. And just a tip. Um, it seems like Rite Aid has a bigger color selection than CVS. So if you've been looking for specific colors and haven't been able to find them, I would check Rite Aid because they seem to have like an extended display. Okay, so moving on to the next product. This is a lip liner by Urban Decay. It's the 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Ozone, which isn't really a color at all. It's actually a clear lip liner. And I would swatch it for you, but you won't be able to see it. So um, the typical lip liner, you outline your lips and and kind of define them with it but this you can't see it so you're just kind of trying to fill in your lips as best as possible and it puts down a layer of almost like a waxy I don't know the product almost feels like waxy a little bit but it's not drying or anything like that and it has a grippy texture so it really really holds your lipstick in place forever it's crazy the other day I actually timed it and I was able to get my bright pink lipstick I think I was wearing pink nouveau I got it to last for nine hours with um, like through eating a meal as well so this stuff is awesome it's really cool because you can wear this liner with any color lipstick if I were doing a red lip I may still want to go with a red liner though just because that way you can really get that defined edge and add some dimension but for pretty much any other color this is amazing. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow. This month I was apparently all about purple, judging from the products that I picked out. So the first one is this eyeshadow by MAC, and it's called Stars and Rockets. And just looking at this in the pan, I think it's pretty. You can tell how iridescent it is. That's what it looks like just swatched out. But if you layer it over, actually, I'll show you. If you take an eyeliner or a black eyeshadow, then if you layer some of Stars and Rockets on top, it turns into more of a darker... Well, more of a brighter, intense purple, I would say. And I have a tutorial showing how I do that, except on the eyes, so I'll link that down below. These are the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads, and um, these are just little eyeshadow quads. Can you believe I have never tried these before this month? I was just never drawn to these in the drugstore when I saw them because they just seemed like such intense shimmer and they didn't really seem to have any matte shades which I discovered that some of the colors in these actually look more shimmery than they really are and you can build up some depth with them as well um, but this one I love this is called copper chic and this color right here is the one that I've been wearing the most by far it's like this perfect bronze shade and I just I love the way that looks and I've been wearing it on my lid all the time and um, the other colors are really pretty too I mean I'm just blown away by how creamy and pigmented these little eyeshadows are seriously I've never tried them before so maybe I'm a little late to the game on that um, but they're just really buttery and 
silky soft. I love them. The other one that I got that I really, really liked was number 55, Smoky Night, which just looks like this. It has some purpley colors, silvery, gray, and a navy, and it's just like the perfect little smoky eye kit. Here are the swatches for this one. Um, the bottom shade is like a deep eggplant color with golden shimmer, which is my favorite color. It's something really unique. I actually don't have a color like that um, in the rest of my collection. This is just like a darker purple, a navy with purple shimmer, and then at the very top, that gunmetal gray with like silver sparkle and then I thought I would give my fresh soy face cleanser a little shout out uh, just because I've been using this over the past month and I really do like it a lot it is formulated for all skin types rich in amino acids and it's supposed to gently cleanse your face and your eyes now if you saw my nighttime routine you know that I actually do use this with my Clarisonic and that's why I purchased it originally because I did see that um, this was kind of recommended for the Clarisonic or sometimes they sell them together and I just wanted something that wasn't super liquidy so it wouldn't run all over the place when I used it and this is more of like a clear it's just a really basic cleanser it's like a clear gel and it works and it leaves my skin feeling really really great so the product that I was probably the most obsessed with this month uh, would definitely be my Mac mineralized volcanic ash exfoliator which just looks like this and it is actually a really dark black color, which you can't really tell because the top, like the cap is kind of the same color. Um, but I was nervous to try it because the words volcanic ash sounds really scary, like it's gonna be really sharp or something, but it's, it's not. It almost feels like you're spreading like crushed up cookies, like cookie crumbs on your face, but it's suspended in gel, so it feels squishy at the same time. It's very, very strange. I'm not sure if that's the best description, um, but I love it so, so much. It uh, leaves your skin feeling so incredibly soft, like you've just spent the day at a spa, really, really smooth, and it doesn't feel stripped, like it doesn't dry out your skin either. Now, it does recommend, uh, I think it recommends one to three times a week you can use this, but I actually use it once a week as an exfoliator, like use it as an actual scrub, and then every other day I've been using it as a mask. I know, every other day is a little excessive. I told you I was obsessed with this and it doesn't really dry and crack like a traditional clay mask would it just kind of gets a little bit more dry like you can feel when it's ready to rinse it off um, but I love it I, I'm absolutely over the moon about this product and then you guys know how I feel about eye cream sometimes I'm on the wagon with the eye cream and sometimes I get lazy and I don't wear eye cream for like a couple weeks I really do like the L'Oreal Revitalift one it's just a nice basic eye cream that I feel like has smoothed out a lot of my fine lines and this one the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener I kept the box so I could read um, like the ingredients and everything it has maracuja oil vitamin C and a bunch of other stuff that's hard to pronounce mango seed butter coconut oil and it is supposed to um, brighten firm and smooth your like the area around your eyes so it comes in of course Tarte packaging is always like precious it comes in a little purple jar and it just looks like that. I'm in love with this. I think that it really does so, I mean it instantly makes a difference. It's an instant noticeable difference which is going to win me over um, and it, you kind of apply it around this area and then up onto your brow bone and towards the bridge of your nose and it is the most brightening product I have ever used. It just makes your entire face look brighter even though you only apply it to those you know small areas. Makes your face instantly look glowy and just refreshed like fresh skin. It's so so nice. It almost makes you look like some kind of otherworldly creature like some kind of alien because it's just so glowy which they should totally put on the packaging. I'm sure that would sell a lot of eye cream right? You'll look like an alien if you use this. So far I've just been using it at night, but it does say you can use it um, in the daytime as well, so I'm gonna try that out um, and let you guys know what I think. Again, the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brighter Eye Treatment. I always wanna say Sea Brightener, but it's Sea Brighter, which makes way more sense. And finally, the past few times I've gone to uh, get my hair touched up, my stylist has used a wet brush on my hair after shampooing and conditioning and everything, and at first I was really confused because I was like, you know, what are you doing with that brush near my wet hair? I do not think so, Missy. She's like, don't worry, it's designed for wet hair, it's not gonna break your hair or anything like that. So I actually went off on a mission to Sally's to find one, and they had two different kinds. Um, this one is the Tangle Tamer Max, which just looks like this, and then they also had one which I think is just called the Wet Brush, which, lo which looks like this, so I decided to get both and compare them and see which one I like better. The winner was, ding, 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 this one, the 
Faux Wet Brush, which actually just looks like a normal brush, but if you look up close, the bristles are more flexible. They're a lot thinner. And it's crazy because you would think that it would just kind of work like a normal brush, but it combs through my wet hair so, so well, even up around my forehead, like right around here where I have more highlights and my hair is super fine, it tends to kind of clump together and be really difficult to brush out. This combs through all of that, even the front pieces, just so, so easily. I love this, it's amazing. And then the Tangle Tamer Max, I actually do really like for dry hair. Uh, it kind of massages your scalp, which feels really nice. And it just, I like the fact that you can just kind of hold on to it like this, it's very easy to hold, and I think it would be great for hair extensions as well. So that is going to do it for my August favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I do want to give you a heads up that this week is going to be insane for me. This is probably my most busy week of the entire summer. I'm going to the beach for a few days and then um, the Made in America Festival. It's a big music festival. It's going to be held here in Philly this weekend. So a bunch of our friends are going to be going with us and they're all staying at our house for a few days. So needless to say, it's going to be a little crazy around here for a few days. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you're not in the dark. So if I don't, if I'm not able to get another video up this weekend, you'll know why. It's because I'm dancing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I love you guys. It means the world to me that you check in with me every week or just tune into my videos. So thank you so much for that. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.